Welcome. Thanks for taking the time out to join our first online training session for Cap Cargo. There will be further sessions after today that will go through training materials that we've planned in a staggered way leading up to the targeted go live date. And that's so that we keep the training as relevant for all of you and us as we can according to the task at hand. Today we're going to be introducing the benefits of Cap Cargo for you and for us of using this new transport management system. Today's session, however, is really focusing on how to place an order, both online and using our manual order forms. In another session, we'll cover off retrieving PODs and invoices. Now there's also two key dates that you should make a note of. The 30th of April is the targeted go live date on which all orders will be shipped out of Cap Cargo. One week before that, on the 23rd of April, that's when you'll be able to start putting orders into Cap Cargo for shipment from the 30th. If there's any information that you're looking for or any additional follow-up, please just visit the website. But for now, thank you for your time. Why Cap Cargo? AHGRL is growing and growing fast. So we needed a new transport management system, or TMS, to replace our existing Pronto and Sapphire systems. The result is Cap Cargo. Now, one TMS portal covers all AHGRL businesses. One integrated environment will ensure increased effectiveness. There will be a central repository of data for all entities. Manual manipulation of Excel data will be largely eliminated. All AHGRL brands will work in one TMS, along with every depot, state and function. Cap Cargo is a single system resource that will not only provide greater operational efficiency and transparency, but also a single pool of shared resources. Key benefits of Cap Cargo. Cap Cargo provides an integrated transport management system that is not only user friendly, but also means all your information and data across all our business entities can be accessed in the one place. The result will be reduced duplication of work and elimination of multiple transport management systems. There will be more clarity around processes, responsibility and accountability through better process documentation and stronger security profiling. We'll also be able to provide you with one customer portal to place orders, receive PODs and invoices and one billing platform across all our businesses. Plus you'll benefit from new training material that's consistent across all AHGRL brands. Cap Cargo is AHGRL's new customer-focused TMS, designed to bring new efficiencies to our businesses and to yours. The first step in placing an order in Cap Cargo is to become familiar with the new standard form for creating an OFT or order for transport. You can find the new OFT via the Cap Cargo portal located on our website ahgrl.com.au. Click on the Customers tab. Navigate down the page to the Cap Cargo icon to access the new customer portal for order placement directly into our TMS. Click on the Cap Cargo icon. A prompt will appear to enter your credentials to access the site. Enter username and password, click OK. With Cap Cargo, we now have one portal for all three entities, so now click on the link you need. It's in Excel format, making editing, duplicating and saving easy. Click on Save As when first creating an order. Give it a file name that allows easy future reference. Open the saved file, click Enable Editing and you're ready to go. Note the yellow highlighted fields. These are all mandatory using the new form. Failure to complete them may result in delays due to clarification being sought by our order entry teams. Hover over any of these headings to see an explanation of the information being requested. It's needed to streamline the service delivery to you and your customers. 
Let's use customer account as an example. Enter your account charge code here. It will be the same as it is now, but if unsure, please refer to your most recent statement, where you will find the correct information. You can use the one form to place multiple orders as long as you enter your correct customer code for each order. As many customers may have more than one code, this allows for efficient processing by you and the AHG RL teams. Let's complete the form by following across the page. Transport type is new. Choose from the drop-down box one of freezer, chiller, produce, confectionery or dry. Next, choose whether the transport you wish to use is road or rail. Perhaps the most significant change will be the changes to some terms used. You currently advise us of the pick up or load and delivery or unload addresses. With CapCargo, we also require two other addresses from you. Sender address is the address of the consigner or the company placing the order. This may be different to the load address. Choose load date. Load window is the time allowed for vehicle loading, that is, the opening hours to allow truck arrival and loading to be completed. The load address is the address from which the freight is to be collected by AHGRL or the AHGRL depot to which the freight will be delivered for shipping. Receiver address and unload address are also required. In most cases, these may be the same, so use the Excel format to easily copy and paste. Enter the unload date and unload window. If the unload and receiver addresses are different, for example, if a customer is collecting from an AHGRL depot, the receiver address must state these details. Scroll across to References. These are not mandatory fields, but are all highly recommended. Invoice reference, for example, allows you to put in your own reference which may be used to ensure prompt payment. Now scroll across to see the rest of the form. There are six more mandatory fields to be completed. The first two of these are Transport Quantity and Transport Unit. From the drop-down menu, choose the Transport Unit most relevant to you. If your choice is not listed, please leave blank and place a comment in the far right column line description. Next, Transport Quantity. Here, you enter the number of units to be shipped. Continue completing the mandatory fields by entering the number of spaces you wish to book, remembering that the maximum weight for any space is 1,000 kilograms, including wood. Weight is next. Enter the total weight, including wood, and if you don't know this detail, please enter your best estimate in kilograms. We have a collective obligation under the chain of responsibility for this information to be provided. The last two columns relate to empties. This is new terminology, but simply put, empties are the things like pallets and hooks that we exchange on delivery. Choose the pallet type, either Shep or Loscombe, if the empty is a pallet, Otherwise, choose the most relevant option for you. Any additional information that you wish to provide can be entered into the final field, which allows alphanumeric text to be used. You've now completed the OFT using the new CapCargo template. On the form, you'll have noticed a green bar on the right-hand side. Underneath this, and using a single form, you can enter multiple orders without having to repeat all of the information to the left of these cells, as long as it's the same for each order.
click on Save so that you have a copy on file for reference and you're ready to send the completed form. Use the hyperlink to open an email and send us your completed OFT. So that's Cap Cargo and how to place a manual order. If you have any questions, please refer to the user guides available on our new website or contact order entry on this email address or call 02 8738 1111. We'll also be publishing frequently asked questions on our website with answers to help make this transition as smooth as possible. For those customers already using the portal to place orders, we will now show you how easy the process is. Even if you currently use the manual OFT, we encourage you to stay online and have a look at an even simpler way of placing your order in the future. You will need to access the portal to retrieve PODs and invoices just like you do today. The Cap Cargo portal is accessed via the AHGRL website. Firstly, ensure the right entity is selected as we have one portal for all three entities. Our customers who are only set up under one entity will only have access to the entity relevant to their account. An order which is now referred to as a transport order, TO, is created. The system generated TO will have a letter ending in the entity in which you've placed the order. That is, orders placed under the 8RT, RAND, entity will list as a TOR reference number followed by a system generated number. 8SR, Scott's orders, will start with TOS and 8JA, JAT, orders will start with TOJ. To place a new transport order, navigate to the left-hand panel under the Common tab. Select All Transport Orders tab. Here you're able to view all previously booked transport orders for this specified entity only. Navigate to the top corner located under the Browse tab. Here you will see the Transport Order New icon. Click on this icon to create a new transport order. The first order entry screen will now pop up. You have the choice to maximise the window for better viewing. If you refer to the header of this window, it provides the unique system-generated transport order number. Example, TOR 00013524. This was previously referred to as a consignment note number. Please note, all mandatory fields will have a red asterisk next to them. This is to identify that these fields need to be completed, otherwise an error will occur, preventing your order from being processed. Located under the general header, the first field to complete is the transport type. Here, you'll need to select the temperature in which the order is required to travel using the drop-down menu, either freezer, chiller, produce, confectionery or dry. There are three fields which allow you to enter references relevant to your order. Below the reference header, there is an invoice, sender and receiver reference field. The invoice reference field is not a mandatory field, but we strongly recommend using it. Quoting either this number and or your transport order number while your order is in transit will allow AHGRL to efficiently track your order. Under Customer header, please select the account code from the drop-down menu in the Customer Code field. If you have multiple account codes, you will need to select the account code relevant to your order. The contact field is used to assign a contact person relevant to your order. Using the drop-down menu, please select a contact person. This information is required in any case where there may be a discrepancy with your order, allowing AHGRL to make contact with the correct person within your business relevant to the order being placed. An additional contact can be created by any user at any given time. Please refer to the user guide on how to create a new contact. As AHGRL have more than one means of transporting your goods, the Means of Transport field provides the option to select the method of movement. From the drop-down menu, we currently have a choice of either road or rail. Under the address header, 
you will enter information pertaining to the supplier, loading and unloading addresses, as well as the consignee or receiver of the goods. Previously, order placement only required for collection and delivery address information. Cap Cargo allows for additional fields such as sender and receiver, which provide clarity around who owns the freight as well as where the order will ultimately end. In the sender address, search by typing the sender's name. For further instructions on how to search for a code in any field, please refer to the user guide which provides step-by-step -step instructions. Select the desired sender address. This is the company who is paying for the freight movement. Under Load Date, using the drop-down menu, select Load Date on the calendar. To specify the window in which our vehicle can collect the freight, enter in the from and to times relevant to the load address. This loading window is to reflect the time in which the vehicle is required for loading, but may also be used to display a specific booked time slot if required. Please note, this is in 24-hour format. Using the drop-down menu, select the load address which is the physical location where AHGRL will be collecting the freight. This may also be an AHGRL depot or warehouse if the freight has been delivered or dropped in by a third party. Using the drop-down menu, select the receiver address. In most cases, this may be the same as the physical unload address. Under Unload Date, using the drop-down menu, select the unload date on the calendar. To specify the window in which our vehicle can deliver the freight, Enter in the from and to times relevant to the unload address. This unloading window is to reflect the time in which the vehicle is required to deliver the freight, but may also be used to display a specific book time slot if required. Using the drop-down menu, select the unload address which is the physical location where AHGRL will be delivering the freight. This may also be an AHGRL depot or warehouse if the freight will be collected by a third party. Now click OK to proceed to the second order entry screen. A window will pop up, which you can maximise if you wish to. This screen gives you the ability to review what you have previously entered as well as enter any additional information regarding the freight being moved. To enter details regarding the freight, scroll down to the bottom of the screen. To create the first entry line regarding the freight, click on Add Line. A new entry line will appear. Start by entering the transport quantity, for example, how many pallets. Tab across. From the drop-down menu, select the transport unit. The most common unit is usually pallets. Tab across to plan quantity. Enter the number of spaces your order will be occupying in the vehicle. One space is equivalent to one ton. Any weight greater than a ton occupies additional space. Tab across to the second plan quantity. If an amendment is required for quantity of modules, then this field needs to be updated. Tab across to the third plan quantity. Enter the relevant weight. Due to COR, we are obligated to comply with the law and ensure our vehicle meets legal load requirements. As this field is mandatory, when exact weight is unknown, we recommend that you enter the best estimate to your knowledge, including the weight of the wood. Now tap across to the far right-hand side under Empties Quantity, entering the number of woods or other required for exchange, usually the number of pallets. From the drop-down menu under Empties Unit, select the type of unit, i.e. Loscom, Shep, Hooks or other. To save the values you have entered on this line, click on the Save icon.
the line will change to blue, confirming that the line has been saved. If you require additional special instructions to be included on your order, click on Details and a window will appear. Click on the Edit icon to amend your record. Type in additional special instructions under the description box. Using the description field, please do not remove the word palette. Simply type below this text. Note, this field is a free text field. Click OK to save amendments made. This will return you to the previous window. If additional lines are required, click on Add Line and repeat the process. Once your order is complete, click on the Save and Close icon. A pop-up screen will appear to advise that your order has not been released. To release your order for processing, now click on the Release icon. This will return to the All Transport Orders screen. If you wish to place a new order, simply repeat this process. If any amendments are required beyond this point, then you will need to contact Order Entry on 02 8738 1111.